love. So this video is going to be a unit by Eva Wigs. They did send me their glueless full lace unit in 22 inches. I do believe it's 150 or 180 density, but I'll post it below. You do get a comb, some bobby pins, and a stocking cap. So let's go ahead and take this unit out of the package. This is the tag, and inside it has a stretch cap. And like I said, it is a glueless full lace wig. There are three combs in the front, an adjustable strap, and no comb in the nape area. So I definitely would take that middle comb and place it right there. There are baby hairs in this unit, but we're going to get to customizing it. As you can see, it's very pretty, loose, curly type of curls. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on my mannequin head straight out the package. I'm going to use my T-pins just to hold it in place. And I do like to put a stocking cap on my mannequin head so that way it does not slip all around. And I do put three pins, one in the middle and one on each side. So I'm going to go ahead and brush this hair so that I can prepare it to do some tweezing. Because I did notice that the knots in this unit are a little bit swollen. They're not to my liking. The hairline is a little bit somewhat pre-plucked, but if my particular taste, I do like the knots to be less noticeable. So that is the reason why I'm going to tweeze a part in it. As you guys can see right there, they are a little bit swollen. They're kind of too close to one another, but it's all up to your preference. You can definitely go ahead and bleach it, but I'm not into bleaching the knots on my frontals or full lace wigs anymore because sometimes it just makes it look brassy. So I decided that I wanted to have a part on the left side. That's where majority of all my parts are at. So so I'm going to go ahead and take my tweezers and you want to make sure that you're taking your time when doing this because it's super easy to pierce the lace on your wig, your frontal, your closure or whatever. It's super easy. So you want to take your time with this and make sure that you have a good pair of tweezers, not anything too cheap because they definitely will not tweeze. So as you guys can see, the hairline, the part is coming along pretty neatly. You don't see any more of those swollen not and as you can see that is the hair that was removed but i'm going to go ahead and get to the front of that and just tweeze just a little bit more this is where it's going to get super fast if you don't know how to pre-pluck your hairline then i would highly suggest that you take a look at youtube there are great tutorials on how to do this so as you guys see that is what i'm doing right here i'm just trying to thin it out a little bit because like i said those knots look a little bit swollen so I can't remember, like I said, if this was a loose curly or a loose wave, but I'll definitely post the information below for you guys. Evil Wigs does have a lot of variety with their units. So for this one here, this is how I do all my units. I do use the Garnier conditioner and I just place them on the mannequin head and sit them inside of my jacuzzi size tub. And then I just put some conditioner on her like so and just saturate it and comb it and brush it thoroughly. So that way, you know, you get them curls really shipping. I don't really like to wear curly hair straight out the box because it really doesn't look that good. Once you wash and condition it, you will see the true texture of it and you'll see how it actually really looks. So once you have let that sit in the hair for like three to five minutes, you can go ahead and rinse it out. As you guys can see, that part is still popping through on the left side. And now I'm gonna take some of this dark and lovely natural curl cream. And this is just to keep the hair hydrated, moisturized, and looking good. And I'm I'm just going to kind of like brush that thoroughly through the hair and I'm going to allow it to sit on the mannequin head and air dry. Now onto my own head the day before this day right here was wash day and I really don't blow dry my hair. I just let it air dry. As you guys can see it is really curly so I'm going to take some of my water that has conditioner in it and I'm just going to spritz it over my hair just so that way I can easily comb it out. So this is some type of tea tree oil that I was sent and it does smell really strong. It's supposed to help your hair grow back. I haven't really seen any results in it. I kind of like stopped using it because it was really strong and it kind of made me feel like my edges was already getting thin and it was just getting thinner so I really did stop using this so I went ahead and parted my hair into sections and I'm just going to take a really super duper wide tooth comb and start from the ends and just go ahead and comb my hair thoroughly so that way I can prepare it for braids for underneath my wig I do like to keep my hair in braids because I just think that it protects my hair even though my hair is a little bit thin to most I still need to protect it so I'm just going to go ahead and take a wide tooth comb and just saturate and section my hair up. I've already went ahead and combed through both sides so I'm just speeding it up and this is how my braid pattern is a majority of the time. Not all the time but most of the time. So this braid that you see me doing right here is kind of like my anchor braid for my half wigs 
yes i do do it for all types of hairstyles that one braid was for the halfway so if i decide to wear a halfway then i already got a braid to hold my half wigs down in the back i do put about one or two braids and i do connect them so that way i don't have too many braids flopping around on my head the part in it may not be that straight but it's all good because hey ain't nobody about to see that so yes my hair is already combed out this is the one side that i worked on first and now it's just time for the braiding pattern so this actually is going to be two braids in the back and the one in the middle which is my anchor braid for my half wig listen I like to prepare my hair for all styles because I really don't like to re unbraid. So now right here, this little piece of hair in the front by my hairline is actually my leave out that is being held by the clip. That's just my leave out for um, regular wig styles. And this braid or this hair that I'm holding on to the front right here is also my leave out just for wigs. So the braid that I'm doing right now is just an anchor braid for actual wigs full wigs to hold on to and slip into but like i said if i want to do a half wig i just unbraid that one braid that i just put in and i'm good to go now to get those baby hairs should pop and i'm just going to use some of this gorilla snot gel which i love to death because it doesn't flake up and one of my favorite toothbrushes and i'm just going to slick my edges down okay sometimes i change it up and i do it differently but you know today was hey it was today so that's how the back of my hair pattern looks the wig is all dry you know what I'm saying like i said this was the very next day after i washed the wig so i'm gonna go ahead and cut the lace off of it and i'm gonna use some of my matte press powder just to make the lace inside look more like scalpage you know what i'm saying it is a glueless full lace wig so i honestly prefer glueless full lace wigs versus 360s or lace fronts because listen with a glueless full lace wig you can do a whole lot more so if you want to part it down the middle and have two braids or buns or whatever you want on the sides you can definitely do that so I went ahead and touched up some of my baby hairs a little bit and I'm gonna situate this wig. Let me tell you something. As much as I love Eva wigs, I wasn't too fond of this particular wig right here. For some reason, the lace just did not seem like it wanted to sit flush to my head. So I had to go ahead and braid it, as you guys can see. And that is what I'm doing right here. I had to braid it down because it just was not sitting properly. Maybe if I would have put an elastic band in it, it would have sat really, really tight to my head. But I was not in the mood for doing all of that. And I just really didn't feel like the need to. I don't feel like you should have to put an elastic band for every wig that you purchase. I just think that it should have sat flatter. So to me, there was something the sizing was a little bit off for this actual unit and that's just my deepest deepest opinion I really honestly feel like there was a little bit of sizing off so I went ahead and placed a braid on the side and it did come out really natural I'm so used to doing these with mostly all of my wigs it doesn't even have to be a full lace glueless lace front whatever I can do this with just about any wig, and it just gives me the options of making it look more natural so if you wanted to wear it up like this like in a like kind of like a patchy braid you can definitely do that but I decided that I didn't really want to wear it like that so I went ahead and unbraided this particular side and just you know did my thing with it so I had to leave a little bit of hair out in the front because like I said the sizing on this unit was not right it wasn't laying particularly flat like I would have liked it to but for the most part I do believe that I worked it out rocked it out whatever you want to call it I had to fix my baby hairs after situating this unit um but anyway the hair texture is really nice the density is great as you guys can see I was kind of a little bit upset and aggravated that's why I was shaking my my head okay I was shaking my head and I had to kind of like really finagle this unit I do like the texture of the hair and the density as well I do believe it's either 180 or 200 because it is a glueless full lace wig they do have a lot of great units on their website not to mention they got some great bundle here but this was the first for me for the wig not to fit properly um, with evil wigs other than that I definitely would recommend them you know everybody has their faults and flaws and sometimes they have the little mistakes but for next time I'll definitely go ahead and put a elastic bands on it but I hope you guys enjoy my tutorial how I get ready with my wigs as well as my hair I don't wash my hair every day when I'm changing up my wigs but this is a weekly option that I do have so on that note I hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you rate comment subscribe all of the information for this unit will be listed down below for you guys you know you love me so make sure that you share this video and rate it with a thumbs up and leave great comments and I hope you guys have a wonderful new year I love you all and I'll see you soon bye Oh, 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 oh,